so today's topic is uh, tests on transformer test on transformer tests on transformer there are different types of tests that exist in the transformers uh, to know the performance of the transformer so the first one is a uh, polarity test so this test is used to know the uh, direction of induced emf and the polarities and uh, so all those things uh, we can find by using this polarity test by using polarity test we can find the direction of induced emf and uh, everything and uh, by using this uh, next one is a uh, open circuit test or this is also called oc test open circuit test or oc test so by using this open circuit test or oc test we can find the shunt to branch parameters of uh, shunt to branch parameters of uh, equivalent circuit equivalent circuit you might have shunt to branches like this this is r not and this is x not and uh, this is i not this shunt to branch parameters r not and uh, i w x not i mu and these values and these parameters can be found by using this uh, open circuit test and along with this uh, we can find uh, iron losses iron losses are nothing but uh, this is iron losses iron losses are nothing but hysteresis is losses and eddy current losses and these losses also we can find by using this test and uh, apart from that another one test, another test is there and uh, the test is a uh, short circuit test this is nothing but a sc test this is also called short circuit test or sc test and by using test we can find the series branch parameters nothing but uh, this is shunt branch and also series branch is available like this this uh, r1 x1 or if you refer to the primary that becomes r01 x01 z01 all the series branch parameters series branch parameters why it is called series branch because it is connected in series with the winding or load that's why these parameters are called series branch parameters and uh, these parameters can be found by using a, a short circuit test and also by using this test we can find the copper losses copper losses nothing but uh, i square r losses i square r losses so by using polarity test we can find the orientation of the emf by using open circuit test we can find shunt branch parameters and iron losses by using short circuit test we can find the series branch parameters and the copper losses so these are the different types of tests which is performed in the transformer to know the losses and direction and another test is there that is sumner test this sumner test this sumner test and uh, or this is also called a back to back test sumner test or back to back test or another one is heat loss test heat loss test there are different types of namings uh, for this test most we can call as sumner's because he is the scientist who found this uh, test so that uh, this is called sumner test or back to back test why it is called a back to back nothing but uh, two identical transformers used two identical transformers are used in this test which are connected in a back to back manner nothing but a series opposition manner that's why this test is called a back to back test and also called a, another one is heat loss test heat loss test why it is called a heat loss test means in this test uh, by using this test we can find the temperature rise temperature rise in the in the transformer so nothing but how much temperature is rising in the transformer with respect to load uh, that can be found by using sumner test but by using open circuit test and short circuit test we cannot determine the temperature we cannot find the temperature but in the sumner test oc oc test and ac test both performed at a time so that temperature for temperature rise can be calculated accurately by using sumner test so now let us discuss the polarity test uh, of the transformer and uh, this polarity test is nothing but to know the uh, 
induced emf in the winding remember direction of induced emf in the winding by using the we can indicate that not dot notation for example this is a primary winding this is primary side and this is secondary side and i am taking two cases uh, for example if the winding is connected in this way here it is positive and here net negative or you can take here positive and negative whatever it may be that is your wish and uh, for your convenience i am taking uh, here positive i'm here i'm taking negative here positive and i'm taking here negative for better understanding i'm taking uh, the terminals will be like this so if the voltmeter should be connected in this way voltmeter for example this is a terminal 1 and this terminal 2 and a terminal 3 and this is terminal 4 and the voltmeter must be connected between 1 and 3 terminals up the primary and secondary winding so that if the voltmeter reads if the voltmeter reads difference between the difference between the induced emf in the primary and secondary then uh, the orientation of the orientation will be like this positive and negative and here positive and negative we can indicate here dot here we can indicate that where the positive uh, is available there we should place the this dot notation and the second case is uh, here it is negative and here positive and here positive and here negative so as we know that uh, the voltage will be like this then we can call the, this is as for example this is positive and negative and positive again positive and negative look at this one if you if you take the kvl equation negative to positive and positive to negative negative to positive is there positive to negative is there so the, so that we can write that as e1 minus e2 so this is as per the kvl that's why as per the kvl i wrote this one like this and uh, if you take second case if you take second case the primary induced emf is e1 and the secondary induced emf is e2 and the polarity is if the polar, if the voltmeter reads the emf will be like this if the voltmeter reads the total voltage for example e1 is 200 and e2 is 300 and if the voltmeter reads 500 then we can say that the orientation will be like this nothing but oh, this is positive and negative again negative positive again negative positive so as per the kvl we can confirm that this is e1 so these are connected in series so that the sum of the voltages will be equal to the e1 plus e2 this is the orientation we need to check with this uh, based on the uh, voltage reading so look at this one here here it is positive nothing but we can indicate we can say that this is dot and here positive so that we can indicate here it is dot so based on this orientation for example you can here dot again here dot you can indicate dots here otherwise you can indicate dot either here or here nothing but opposite opposite terminals nothing but 1 2 3 4 ye opposite nothing but either 1 or 4 either 2 or 3 these these terminals must be indicated with a dot either negative or positive those must be indicated with a dot here similar similar ones nothing but 1 2 3 4 terminals in this terminals 1 2 should be indicated either in 1 2 indicated dot or 3 4 Should be indicated with the dot notation based on the voltage readings, which are connected, which is connected between the uh, one and the two end of the primary and the secondary windings. So next one is the OC test uh, in the transformer. So why we need to conduct the OC test? First of all, what is uh, our intention? What is our intention to conduct the OC test on the transformer? Uh, what are the uh, reasons are? first one to find the shunt branch parameters which i discussed earlier of the equivalent circuit and also to find the iron losses of the transformer it will rate the voltage right to the rated voltage and to separate the iron losses into hysteresis losses and eddy current losses so as we know all that uh, iron losses are nothing but uh, uh, hysteresis losses some of the hysteresis losses and the uh, eddy current losses so let us discuss in depth and uh, we know this is the equivalent circuit equivalent circuit parameters can be found by using the 
OC test. I will explain in depth in the other discussion. Here, to find the iron losses, iterated voltage. Let us understand this one, iterated voltage. So iron losses, I think if you take a series losses, which is equal to theta B max, whole power 1.6. F times of uh, V, this is a series is loss of formula. Look at this one, this is volume and this is frequency and B max is nothing but uh, B max, E direct proportions to V by F. Nothing but uh, in this is series is losses, the variable term is voltage and frequency. So if voltage increases, B max will increase, series is losses increases. So simply we can conclude that this is hysteresis losses depends on voltage. So this hysteresis losses depends on voltage. That's what we need to remember. So in this iron losses, hysteresis losses depends on voltage. So that uh, next one is uh, copper, uh, eddy current losses. Eddy current losses also K, B max square, F square, T. So here B max also nothing but a B by F. I think, but uh, if the voltage and frequency are the variable, there is no current term in the uh, eddy current losses formula. So that if the voltage increases, B max increases, and eddy current losses increases. So this uh, eddy current losses also from this iron losses, eddy current losses also depends on voltage. That's why the total losses, iron losses are nothing but eddy current losses, hysteresis losses. These two losses depends on voltage only. That's why if the transformer, for example, if the transformer is rated at 200 by 300, so maximum voltage is 300. So that uh, this is the rated voltage. This rated voltage must be applied to the transformer at no load so that we can find the total iron losses, maximum iron losses. For example, if you find the uh, iron losses at 200 volts, 200 volts, uh, the losses will be according to the 200 volts only. So that we can get a less uh, less iron losses when compared to the 300 volts uh, of the transformer. And the next one is separation of iron losses and the hysteresis losses. So that the watt meter reading gives. So if you connect a watt meter in series with the uh, transformer, watt meter reading gives the total iron losses. Total iron losses. But how to divide? How to separate the iron losses? So that is also we can find uh, by using this test. So I will explain how this all these things can be determined for uh, next steps. So next one is uh, why we need to conduct the open circuit test on LV side. So if you take a transformer, uh, if you take any transformer like this, definitely, for example, this is a primary and this is secondary. So primary either uh, HP or LV. That may be anything. And uh, secondary may be LV or HV. If, L, if primary is HV, definitely secondary must be LV. If primary is LV, definitely secondary must be HV. So this is basic things. So that uh, we need to confirm where we need to conduct this test, uh, either HV or LV. So that is we need to discuss. So what, what happens if they, uh, if you conduct uh, OC test on LV, what happens if you conduct uh, OC test on HV, what happens? Let us discuss clearly in depth. So if you conduct the open circuit test on LV side, so what are the advantages? So first one is uh, LV is nothing but, for example, this is nothing but LV winding. You can see the, in the figure, LV winding, LV side. So low voltage source. LV is nothing but low voltage. Low voltage is nothing but low voltage source. So that low voltmeter ranges, low voltmeter ranges are enough. Low voltage, low uh, nothing but uh, the voltmeter ranges, uh, low voltage meters is enough. Nothing but for example, 33, uh, 33 kV by 11 kV. For example, this is the rating of the transformer. So low voltage is nothing but 11 kV. 11 kV, nothing but 11 kV voltmeter. 11 kV voltmeter is enough. When compared to the 11 kV, 33 kV voltmeter is construction is very difficult to use. For example, 11 kV, 11 kV by 440 volts. So you can see this, this is 11,000, 11 kV nothing but 11,000. Here 440, 440 is the least one, least voltage. So that to least voltage, 
voltmeters are available in your uh, laboratories but uh, 11 kv voltage is not available in our laboratories only uh, low voltage ranges only available in your laboratory so that uh, low voltage uh, low voltage meters are enough uh, to produce uh, nothing but to conduct this test so that is one of the reason to conduct uh, lv side if you take hv side high voltage meters high voltage uh, uh, meters are required so nothing but uh, potential transformers required potential transformer pts nothing but we need to reduce the high voltage to low voltage and then we can use that as a meter so that is a difficulty and the next one is uh, uh, if you take uh, this is a uh, lv side if you conduct this lv side less copper losses takes place so that uh, we can treat total losses uh, as iron losses which depends on voltage nothing but uh, this is a uh, lv winding lv winding having a, a cross section area more cross section area so that resistance is less as resistance is less i square r losses is very less so that uh, nothing but iron losses nothing but uh, which depends on voltage but uh, while performing the uh, oc test some current flows through the this primary winding some current passes through the primary winding as the resistance is low of the primary winding of the transformer it produces less copper losses less copper losses so that uh, total wattmeter reading even though total watt total wattmeter reading iron losses and copper losses copper losses are very less because the winding resistance of the lv is very less so the total wattmeter reading approximately equal to the iron losses which depends on only voltage that's why we stress on lv side only if you conduct on hv side it's very difficult to calculate the all these things hv wind if it, if it is hv side definitely hv side resistance is high so that uh, total copper losses nothing but the total losses in of the uh, total wattmeter reading cannot be taken as iron losses because because of this such hv winding high resistance is there because of this high resistance more copper losses will be takes place so that we cannot neglect the total copper losses simply if you conduct uh, this test on hv side we can get less iron losses less iron losses that's why we should conduct this test on lv side only okay next one is the procedure to conduct the open circuit test so this is the circuit diagram of the open circuit test uh, uh, this is auto transformer and from the auto transformer to this is the tapping position this is the minimum tapping position and if you increase the tapping positions to in the vertically upward manner number of turns increases and the primary voltage also increases so this is ammeter and uh, this is watt meter and this is a voltmeter and the secondary must be secondary must be kept to open secondary side must be kept to open and uh, this test must be performed on lv side as we have discussed earlier so these are the multimeter term voltmeter terminals mlcv so this is mc short so for a generally mc short lc short will be there so mc short used for high currents high currents lc short used for low currents so this is no load test nothing but open circuit test in the open circuit test only no load current flows no load current is nothing but i not i not is very less so that for the lc test uh, for low currents this must be lc shorted lc short so this is the terminals uh, this is lc short must be uh, connect for this test in the laboratory and uh, so for example this is uh, i'm taking 200 by 400 volts transformer secondary must be say 400 volts and the primary must be 200 volts as we change the so first step of the uh, experiment is to you need to place this auto transformer at minimum position minimum position and uh, we need to increase the position of the auto transformer tapping position so increase uh, in this position in such a way that the voltage in the voltmeter reading must be equal to 
200 voltage if the voltmeter nothing but if the this voltage is nothing but primary voltage if the voltmeter reading is 200 volts is the primary automatically secondary side voltage equal to the 400 volts so that uh, this is we need to keep in, in our mind nothing but we need to increase the auto transformer tapping position in such a way that voltage across the primary winding voltage across the primary winding is equal to the rated voltage for example i am taking rated voltage as 200 voltage until we get 200 voltage in the voltmeter reading we need to increase the tapping position of the auto transformer then automatically we can con confirm that the secondary voltage is equal to 400 volts so if the if the transformer is rated as 200 and 400 if the, if i apply 200 volts is the primary automatically secondary voltage will be equal to the 400 volts otherwise we can connect uh, this voltmeter at a secondary side at secondary side and we need to check the rated voltage as 400 volts by increasing the voltmeter and uh, if we <coughs> if we got a 400 volt 200 volts in the voltmeter or 400 volts at the secondary and at this position we need to note down the voltmeter re reading watt meter reading and uh, a meter reading nothing but this is v1 w0 i0 so v1 is nothing but rated voltage that's why this is indicated as uh, v1 and w0 is nothing but no load iron losses and i0 is nothing but no load current from the ammeter w0 from the watt meter v from the either uh, secondary side or either primary side this is the way we need to conduct the test so this wattmeter reading is, is equal to the iron losses. This wattmeter reading is equal to iron losses. And I will give the description of the, the formulas. So look at this one, the Shinty branch parameters how to find. This is the Shinty branch parameters. And uh, this is the way to calculate. This is R0 we need to calculate, X0, X, uh, X0 we need to calculate, I, IW, I mu, all those we need to calculate. So. From the wattmeter reading, we received V1 as rated voltage, rated voltage and W0 wattmeter reading and I0 no load current from the ammeter reading. This is these are the only values which we have. So from this by using these values, we need to find all these all these shunty branch parameters. R0 is nothing but uh, R0 is nothing but uh, uh, voltage across the R0 is nothing but V1 and current through the current through the R0 is equal to 